Hey everyone, Tony Phelan here with Competition X, and today we have on the workbench the .2 version of Team Associates' new B6 buggy, the B6.2D Team Kit. Now there was a bit of a delay on shipping in this, but thankfully they're now starting to, to roll in. We got our hands on one, and we are excited about opening up this box and seeing what's inside. We're going to be doing a full online build video of this car, uh, where we'll also go over all of the support equipment, but since this is kind of an exciting deal right now, we're gonna forego the support equipment and just get to what's inside this box. So let's go do it. All right, so here's the kit, the B6.2D Team Kit. Nice little box art, the standard box art with the, the drawing in the back. On one side here, we have some of the new Team Kit features, rear hub assembly stuff, bolt-on, plus one steering arms, updated left side rail for the motor fan mount, 67 millimeter CVA bones, Rear, got a picture of the car. On this side here, it shows a lot of the pictures of the new updates, like the easy access diff, uh, lightweight aluminum one piece top shaft, layback transmission, lay down transmission, a couple of the other um, kit specifications here. All right, let's just get inside. So, the first thing we're going to look at is the body. It's a nice kind of cab forward design. Not too bad on the curves here for painting. Some channels here to divert airflow. Nice, doesn't really look too tall either. Uh, rear wing, single rear wing. And for those of you who crash a lot, a pair of front wings. You get two different, uh, looks like they're the same. So you get two front wings. So if you happen to crash a lot, or you want to cut them differently to, to adjust front downforce, there you go. All right, we're going to just open up each bag here, and in no particular order, because obviously this is bag seven. Um, but seven has your rear hubs. Sort of some beefy hubs. Holy cow, look at those things. Designated left and right. Inserts for tow. Uh, these are seven millimeter rear wheel hexes. And then your CVAs, uh, the bones, looks like the hinge pins as well. Looks like they're captured hinge pins now. It's got a, a piece on one end here um, to keep it from sliding through instead of, these are interesting. So nut, I guess, goes on here to keep it on the, on the car. And then mounting hardware. Nice. Try and keep all this stuff together. All right, then we're on to bag six. Dangerous, right? Okay, bag six. We have uh, more mounting hardware. Looks like shock tops mounting. Uh, more hardware. Spring, slipper spring. An enormous ball stud. Look at that thing. Oh, a pair of them. Uh, we got the motor plate. Top shaft. Standard issue. Slipper pads. Looks like some of the, oh yeah, this is the, the transmission half. Spur gear. So what these parts here do is you can, uh, they go, the bearing goes in there and the diff slips through there. These allow you to shift the diff either forward, backward, up or down slightly. Uh, they do this on the rear axles of pan cars, that's how they adjust ride height. So this is a neat idea to shift the dip, the, the height of and the forward or back of the spur of the, um, the diff gear, the diff itself. You got the wing mounts, wing spacer, rear shock tower, carbon fiber, graphite, whatever you want to call it. Another spur gear. So it gives you two spur gears. Interesting. Oh, probably for the two different uh, lay down or, or lay back transmission. Uh, idler gear, one of them, other transmission parts. Let me go to the shocks. We're not going to open this bag up. Uh, you can see it's just standard shocks with the, with the hard hard coated shock sha uh, shock bodies, springs, caps. It's a standard associated shock parts there. Turnbuckles. 
and the heavy duty um, ball cups. What I like about this hole is that you can use, you don't have to pop the ball cup off to move the ball stud underneath it to a different location. You can actually just screw this up, move it around, screw it back down, and then just adjust the turnbuckle. So you don't keep having to pop these on and off and messing up the plastic, loosening them up. Nice addition. We've got the battery mount for the wheel nuts. Open this guy up here. Because we want to look at the diff. It's a really dark diff gear. Dang. Uh, diff halves, light and diff halves. Diff spring in there. Your diff rings in the balls, probably carbide balls, most likely carbide balls. And then the thrust assembly balls. And then your diff fluids. This is kind of fluids. This is kind of what I wanted to look at. So it's 30 weight shock oil. And then you have, uh, looks like clear grease and black grease. Open this one up too. This has got some interesting stuff in it. Already a piece off there. I'm gonna throw this back in the bag so we don't lose it. All right, so here's your rear arms. And then of course, the, these are the spacers that go here to space the arm forward backward. Kind of really angular looking arms. Look at those things. Those are crazy. And then you have your arm mounts and the pills for the arm mounts. Depending on what pill you put in there, uh, can adjust things like anti-squat, toe, um, that type of stuff. So uh, the manual will probably tell you how the starting setup for these and then kind of what they do. Hinge pins. This looks like, oh, the steering and probably the top brace, the front top brace, and then all the hardware. Gear cover, waterfall, Front tower, or this is the front tower cover. Uh, that protects the carbon cover from being damaged if you crash. And look at that. This is interesting. I've never seen them bag their bearings like this before. So all the bearings go on a, on a certain bag here instead of being in the individual parts bags. That's cool. And then let's, let's go to this here before we open that up. I'll open this one up. Maybe. Doesn't want to come undone. We'll leave that piece in there because we already know what was already one that came out. Those are the arm extensions. So they extend out a little bit more to allow more throw. All the mounting hardware, front axles are aluminum. A couple other aluminum bits in there. And then your caster blocks, steering blocks, and the inserts for the um, caster block here. You can adjust caster using these. And then almost finally, we have bag two. One second, let me move this stuff. I'll put bag two here. All right, so bag two has, what have we got in here? Like foam strips, probably for the battery box. Front bumper, uh, servo plate. Now you can add this under the servo to add 13 grams of weight under the servo. Sometimes it's a good tuning um, item. Other times guys want the cars a little bit lighter, but this will add a little more weight up front to help uh, maybe balance the car or give it more steering. It's a nice addition to they give you that. Mounting hardware, mounting hardware, looks like a servo horn ring. Servo mounts, mounting hardware, and then all of the like front arm. Yep, front arms. Uh, front brace. Servo stuff. Front bulkhead. Carbon tower, front tower. Oh, I think that is. That sucker's thick. And then your kind of your chassis braces on each side. Um, yeah. All right. And finally, the chassis. We're gonna go ahead and pull this guy out. 
It's a nice aluminum chassis. It's all been milled. The sides have been pushed up a little bit here. Probably more ground clearance on the car corners. Uh, kick up. Looks very nice piece there. There's where the uh, that plate goes. Where that plate go? This guy right there. I think you can buy additional ones too to go here. Maybe along these areas too to adjust the weight bias. And then finally, the paperwork. We have the, uh, ooh, nice, 3M tape. Nice. We got uh, all kinds of weird stuff here. Looks like a catalog. Element, Reedy, all of their kind of accessory line. Stickers. Full color sticker sheet. Velcro. If you want, you don't have to use body, I don't know if the instructions say it yet, we'll have to look, uh, but you don't have to use body clips. You can put Velcro on the side pieces, probably along here, and then on the body. And then it allows you to stick the body to the car without using um, body clips. It's a little cleaner, looks really nice because you want these big body clips sticking out. Uh, but you have to make sure it's really clean because once it starts peeling off, it's kind of a pain. You know, replace it and all that kind of stuff. But I usually use this on a two-wheel drive buggy, at, at least. Um, this is the antenna. The window masks for the body, and then the team associated manual. Let's have a quick manual. All right, everyone. So there you have it. The team associated B six point two D unboxing. Um, I'm pretty stoked about this vehicle. I haven't built a new two-wheel drive race buggy since the original B6D back in, what was it, 2016, something like that. Um, all the updates, all the upgrades, the new body, the new wings, all this other kind of stuff, uh, it's pretty exciting. I'm excited to see how this buggy's gonna turn out and how it's going to drive. So please stay tuned, please subscribe to the channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell because we are going to be doing an online build, uh, a video build of this buggy and um, it'll be a couple part series kind of like i do my normal online builds we're going to do it in video format and we're going to do it in sections so uh, keep an eye out for that otherwise thanks for watching and we'll see you on the track